So the whole business started, it was a locker plant. So you could rent a freezer space and there were these underground lockers and everything was wrapped with your name on it, the cut of the meat, the date, all that sort of information. Also, we had these four old fashioned smokehouses in the back. It was totally a manual form of smoking. What had set my dad's business apart from other small little meat businesses was the fact that in 1968, when the USDA was thinking of banning the use of nitrites in curing meats, my dad started to make nitrate-free products. And the USDA never did ban them, but he developed this niche market of people who wanted to buy hams and bacons and other products that are traditionally cured with sodium nitrite without it. In 1986, when I left the wine business and came back into my dad's business because I saw an opportunity to continue doing these specialty meat products, a big part of this was the fact that America was discovering this whole new realm of food. So I thought, you know, we could make this stuff. The plant was small and very diversified that we could move from 50 pounds of this to 100 pounds of that to 30 pounds of this and we could just make anything we needed to make if somebody asked us. We were willing to do anything. So in 1987, when Steve bought out uh, my dad, you know, we just kept rocking and rolling what we were doing and we were quite happy with, with all of the business that we were creating here locally. It was really busy I and mean, we were working seven days a week at this little meat plant because we were making everything there. Things are going really well and typical Friday night after dinner, I go down to the smokehouse, check all the fires, came to one of the doors and it felt particularly hot and I felt, well, that isn't right. And uh, opened the door to see what was wrong and just a wall of flames came right out at me. So the rebuilding after the fire was the birth of where Applegate is today because the real realization that came to us was the fact that we didn't need to be in the processing business anymore, that we could get other people to make our products for us and we could concentrate on the sales and the marketing and the distribution because when you own a production facility, you become production driven and we wanted to be customer driven. So once this new model for us really took hold, we expanded up into Boston and one of the first retailers we went to was this little chain of natural food stores that were totally vegetarian called Bread and Circus. So we started selling our nitrite free products to Bread and Circus and they soon started asking us, well, you know, how are the animals raised? In those days the main thing was hormones, so we went to the farmers and the farmers said, you know, they don't use hormones. Well, that was great. But then they started getting into the questions of, you know, what about antibiotics? And this is where, you know, things really took off for us because we had no clue what we were doing. And we asked the farmers and we worked with the farmers and we learned with the farmers all together because this was new. This was way before organic standards, but nobody was talking about raising animals yet without antibiotics. So the whole new realm here going on, you know, it boomed. And America today, they really care about what they eat. They want to know what's in their food. We've got to continue to be the leader in humane raising. We have to continue to be the leader in pushing no antibiotics as a routine maintenance of animals. As we move this business forward, it's going to be harder and harder to get the farmers we need. You know, the average age of a farmer today is probably around 60 years old, given all the statistics we hear. And we need to get these young farmers more involved. We need to educate them now, and Applegate has to get involved with that. I think that this is, this is a real key mission for us, is to really change the agricultural system here in the United States, and to change the way people eat meat.